Welcome to Healing the Ancestral Heart, a ritual workshop. Betrayals, familial wounds, unspoken bonds, denied love. These are the woundings of the ancestral heart. We're going to look at potential woundings that come from our past, family systems, things that were handed down to you, diseases, betrayals, fears and inhibitions in you that may also be in your parents as well, one or the other or both. And so we're going to look into these family systems and your role in that system. Are you the savior or the baby? the wounded healer or the fixer, the survivor or the outcast. Black sheep sometimes is the outcast, people who are so different from their family. As you look into your family line, peering back into the time before you, you might discover certain patterns of behavior that passed from one generation to another. Perhaps it's a mother-daughter relationship that your great-grandmother had with her daughter, and then your grandmother repeated that pattern with your mom, and then it came down to you. You may be the only one in the family who's decided to look at this one particular issue. Perhaps your relationship with your mother has been painful, and you don't want to pass this on to your children, your daughters. The buck stops with you. What else runs in your family? Diseases, betrayals. Check out cultural tragedies also, like World War I or World War II, the Depression, migration from a country of family origin and leaving loved ones behind, leaving the connection to the land behind, like during the Irish famine, all those people who came to America left their heartland behind and could never go back, never seemed to be able to go back. They were so poor when they came and generations went by before there was um, financial change, financial shifts. So it's important to look at perhaps what those yearnings might have been in that family and how those people long to return to the Ireland they knew. Not at the end with all the disease and poverty and devastation, but the Ireland they grew up in. And the return to Ireland now, as in the return to England and Scotland, by people visiting and traveling there. It's a returning of the ancestral DNA and the dreams of these those people who came here. It's returning that DNA structure, returning those dreams to that heartland, to the land that lived in their heart, their memories' hearts. So, as you sit here um, with your generational pictures, your ancestor pictures around you, here's, here's a brief list of possibilities. Perhaps what's come down to you is, I am responsible for everyone else's problems versus I am not responsible for anyone else's problems. I have never been and I never will be starting now. People are bad versus people are good starting now. There's no one ever there to help me when I need help versus there's always people around that are reaching out and willing to be of service to me. I'm not okay versus I am always okay, especially right now. 
I can't trust myself versus I can always trust myself. I know what I know and I have the confidence of my experiences. I must be in control for things to be safe versus I can give up control and still be safe. The universe has my back. I'm not allowed to feel satisfied with myself versus I am allowed to feel satisfied with myself starting now. Between myself and the universe, all my needs and wants can be satisfied. So it may also be looking at, you know, physical problems that have come down to you, physical issues that have um, gotten in the way. And um, these you can um, call one of your ancestors to you, perhaps, and give this energy back to them, stating that you don't need to carry this further anymore. And we'll touch on some of that as we look at the uh, ritual part of this workshop. So let us start with a prayer to the ancestors. I love and miss your presence here on earth, but gather strength and wisdom from your continued energy and guidance. May that guidance continue to open my paths and roads and the paths and roads of those I love. May your strength and energy give health to me and those I love. May your wisdom bring love and prosperity into my home. And now I'd like you to just visualize one of your ancestors stepping forward so that you can ask that person, that being, for help. Ask this guide to take you where you need to go to see what led to the beliefs and attitudes you're working with. And so I'm going to rattle briefly for you. If you need more time, just hit pause on the recording. But just take time, a few minutes of time, to ask this guide to come forward and take you to the place in history, in the energy of the world, um, in any of the realms that help you see how this whole belief system, family system, what got handed down to you, where it started so it can be healed. ancestor for taking you 
to that place and giving you some ideas and information of what can be healed. So now I want you to visualize your ancestors stretching out in a long line, each holding something. What they hold is the woundings and fears, attitudes and beliefs that were passed from one generation to the next. And even visualize this ancestor that you were taken to meet that was perhaps the source or the beginning or the one that was very visible in this wounding in the field, in the family line. See yourself with a large sack like a Santa Claus carries, a huge big bag, and skimming along the line, you allow each one to place in the bag that which they are holding. They each thank you for taking the piece they didn't know what to do with. At the end, you take the bag and light it on fire purifying and transforming all the lies and betrayals or the uncaringness and fear and disloyalty that ran through your family tr line. So I'm going to rattle here for a few minutes while you do that. Now see another large sack at your feet and pick it up. It's empty of all of the problems that you have burned in the other sack. This is a sack now that has gifts in it and as you walk down the line of your ancestors, you hand each of them a gift and receive a warm hug in return. At the end of the line, you turn and go back to the front where there waiting for you is all the love and freedom to be yourself. This love was waiting for you in and around healing all the woundings. As you give thanks, receive the healing you have created in your family line, coming home to rest in you. So come back to yourself and take time to journal, draw, move your body, integrate this new pattern into your, your body, your physicality, into your present reality. Thank all those beings that have helped you. Thank all your in ancestors that they carried the line, even in difficulty, they carried the line down to you. You are the hope of their DNA. You are the hope 
of all the history of your family and your bloodline. And as you step into the present, looking at the future ahead of you, know that they, they all have you in their heart as you carry them in your heart with all the love and hope and beauty and light that they are suffusing you with. I wish you well.